Well, two people are dead after a fiery early morning crash in Pierce County. Investigators say street racing was likely what led to the devastating incident. It happened on Canyon Road near Fredrickson around midnight. Fox 13's H.J. Janneville went to the scene where the witnesses reported the car speeding possibly upwards of a 130 miles per hour. I spoke to one young woman who tells me this driver tried to get her to race. A few moments later, she drove up the street and saw the deadly car crash. I was just in shock. I didn't know what to do. I just witnessed, you know, two people's lives just gone like that. An unforgettable nightmare for Serena Larashumsky as she tried to make her way home early Wednesday morning. Seeing the SUV caught on fire, we didn't know who was in there. Seeing the BMW, we tried to help. We, there was no way we could help after the flames started going. She tells me moments before, the BMW driver, who investigators say caused the crash, tried to get her to race. He was just revving his engine over and over, and then as I accelerated, he stopped, he didn't move at all, and then accelerated like extreme high speed. And Going probably like 130, 120 down. I seen him starting to lose control a little bit, and I was like, "This something's bad's gonna happen." Two people killed due to speeding. Sergeant Darren Moss tells me it's the deadliest factor on Pierce County roads. That's not how it used to be. It used to be DUI was number one, and speed was at the bottom, and it's just reversed. Moss says this is the third deadly crash on Canyon Road just this year, and the ninth deadly crash for the entire county. Tragically. It's only continuing a morbid trend. Numbers I obtained show Pierce County has seen deadly crashes jump since 2020. Moss tells me a new law gives deputies an edge to go after dangerous street racers on county roads. Any kind of reckless driving, we can tow your vehicle and it's held for 72 hours. And on a second offense, your vehicle can be forfeited. Serena tells me no quick adrenaline fix from revving your engine is worth this fate. It's heartbreaking and it's scary for everyone else who thinks that it's okay to speed and drive so fast because it can, your life can instantly hit just like that. Investigators have not released any information on the identities of the two victims. We have reached out to the medical examiner's office to get more information. The minute we do, we'll keep you up to date. Reporting here in Pierce County, I'm AJ Janivel, Fox 13 News.